Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today work is continuing on this Gottlieb Haunted House machine. And if you've been following the series, I've been kind of working on refurbishing it, going from the bottom up. I'm going to show you where I'm at and what the next task is, which is quite a daunting looking task. So uh, let's go over and audit what's been happening. So I've got the whole play field now all back together, nice and cleaned. I think there's still maybe a few plastics here that might, I might need to put on. But I think, uh, or maybe not, I guess that's supposed to be like that. Anyway, I've got the whole game, basically the play field, put back together nice and clean with new rubbers and LEDs tastefully put everywhere. And it's all looking nice. It's even waxed and everything. And so nice purple rubber here. I didn't have any green. Green would have looked nice. Anyway, where am I at with this? I think basically I've gotten most of the stuff in the cabinet ready to go. Where I'm at is now getting into the head. And you can see I've got LEDs in it now. Let me show you what the big problem is with this. So let me pull this open. And you'll see why this game has been sitting for a while and why I've been apprehensive about working on it. Um, you'll see most of the original boards are in there. Um, the upper right is the MPU board. Um, and I believe there's a um, sound board and an aux auxiliary driver board. Um, I'm not sure what's what over here. Um, but there's so many coils in here, there's obviously some auxiliary boards. But you'll notice this right here. That is the connector that goes right here on the MPU board. Um, and it is a complete mess. Look at that. Um, I did not do this. <laughs> this is the way the game came to me. Right? So apparently, I'm going to suspect what happened was there was a battery on the MPU board which um, barfed electrolyte and damaged the connectors. And um, somebody tried to repin the connectors. They extended the wiring and they were using this weird edge connectors thing. It's actually been cut. So this, I don't know if it was a field hack or what, but that's one gnarly, messy thing. So I'm going to put that back into a standard, properly crimped edge connector. And I, take, I don't take anything for granted. I don't assume that it's been properly wired. Although I will say, when I first got the game, I did fire it up and it did appear to mostly play. So I think I will try, I'll take, I'm going to take a good look at this and make sure all the wires, there's no loose dangling wires or anything shorting. I can see some stuff already where the insulation is missing. Um, luckily they soldered the extension wires on. Obviously the thing to do with that would have been to use uh, heat shrink tubing instead of uh, electrical tape, so it's a really crappy job. So what I may do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to literally um, grab a piece of paper and a notepad. I'm going to make a note of all the color combinations and which pins they go to on this thing before I even mess with anything. Um, but I will probably plug this thing in and just see if it works, just to see what we're dealing with. Um, now, I'm also going to be upgrading this game, assuming, presuming we can get this this thing wired properly. I'm going to consult uh, the schematics. I'm also going to ask other people who own a haunted house to get me a copy of their A1 J5, you know, take a picture of the plug so I can look at the wiring on it just to double check and triple check. Sometimes the color coding of the wires may have changed later in production because they use different wires. You never know. So I want to be absolutely safe before I plug something in. Although in this case, I've got some new boards, so I'm going to plug this thing in and we're going to check to see if it'll actually come up. I have no idea if it will because it's been sitting for a couple of years. But um, that's where we're at. That's quite an intimidating mess right there. I'm going to do my best to um, make good. Now I could just remove the whole extra harness and do a connector on and I think it might actually fit. But I think one of the problems is um, they cut off a, a little bit of the wire to redo this and so what happens now is if you need to fold the uh, head over I don't think there's enough wire there so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a good look at that 
and see what the solution is going to be to this. But obviously that is a big, huge mess, and that's going to have to be completely redone. So we've got all these other boards up in here, but let me show you what I have to update it, and I'll be doing a full review of this in, a, in, a, in one of the upcoming videos. So the good folks uh, at Schwimmer, Swimmer, Fred Swimmer, who was kind enough to send some boards over here for us to check out. So we've got a brand new Swimmer System 80 MPU board. This one will have uh, non-volatile RAM on it, so we won't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. And he's also got a revised soundboard that supposedly has speech synthesis on this. So I'm very excited to hook this thing up and play around with it. And so we're going to, that'll replace two of the boards in the system, and uh, we'll see we'll see how well that works. That this is obviously going to be the board on the the uh, lower left and the upper right. And um, this one on the upper left looks like it's definitely got some damage, but it looks like the damage may have been repaired. I'm going to take a good look at this, see what we're dealing with here, see what that pertains to. And um, that's what you can expect. So stay tuned. Um, First, I'm going to do, in the next video, I may actually plug this thing in after I take a good look at the connector and just see if it'll come up. And I'll do that on camera just because what the hell. Um, and the worst case scenario, I've got two new boards I'm going to put in here anyway. Um, but I would like to see how, if this thing is properly wired, I will be able to use that as a template for repinning re it. Um, so there you have it. Stay tuned for more. Work is going to continue, and then hopefully we will make some progress and get this game playing. So until next time, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, click like, visit me at pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.